And we're going to have some fun now with our main man, Dave Andelman, because Dave, you have a list of great restaurants that have really bad names. You know, it's funny that sometimes uh, a restaurant will succeed despite having a horrible name. Well, you know, personally and professionally, there's no greater fan of restaurants than me. Yeah. But the chefs and the owners aren't always the greatest marketers in the world. Like, half the time you go to their website, you can't even find their address. <laughs> so you got to go past the name, past the sign, past the bad color scheme, go in there and get some great food. All right, here's the perfect example of a, a restaurant with a bad name but good food. Uh -huh. Very unfortunate name, to say the least. Poopsies is the name of the restaurant. It's in Pembroke, Mass., and you get past the name and like the food. I mean, not since the poo poo platter has there been such a bad <laughs> name in the world of food. Let's face it, uh, this place, not much to look at in a strip mall, but it really has great food if you're willing to look past all that. Uh, this is an old school South Shore bar pizza place. So they do those great personal pizzas baked in the pans with a crispy crust. Uh, it's like those pies at Emma's Pub and Pizza or Cape Cod Cafe. I like their house special, topped with all the classic pizza toppings, onions, peppers, mushrooms, and pepperoni. Great place right yeah. there. Now, I know that you and I and our brother Michael, we've all been described as knuckleheads a few times in our lives. Uh -huh. Never would I ever think to name a restaurant <laughs> Knuckleheads. Yeah. But that's a place in New Bedford, and you like Knuckleheads. Well, truth in advertising for, <laughs> for this show and for certain restaurants. Sure. Yeah. They have pictures of uh, famous Knuckleheads. Uh, we're Stooges guys. I mean, we host right. the Three Stooges New Year's Eve Marathon. They've got uh, Don Knotts, if you really want to kick it old school He's over there. a good there. Knucklehead. But they have have great stuff, seafood right from the New Bedford waters, enormous one pound lobster roll on a bulky roll, Portuguese food like Mozambique shrimp and Portuguese steak with a fried egg on top. I recommend the fried Oreos. Mm. It's just like, just when God created the perfect cookie, the Oreo, <laughs> man goes ahead and fries it and makes it even better, Dan. This is so delicious. Yeah, you're not going to beat a fried Oreo. Now, here's another place. Okay, now, uh, some restaurant names are just hard to say, or they're just kind of annoying. Uh -huh. And the perfect example of that is Ruth's Chris Steakhouse, right? That's just hard to say. Look, I, I fear this restaurant. I mean, we didn't go to Syracuse or Connecticut School of Broadcasting. No. I mean, when I see that in the script, I panic. Right, Ruth's Chris. Right. But as a chain <laughs> national steakhouse, I think it's one of the best. Mm -hmm. In Boston, it's built out of the old city hall, so it's this beautiful building. And they have great steaks. They come on those sizzling platters with tons of butter. Get yourself the Porter House for two. This is a huge slab of beef, sirloin on one side, tenderloin on the other, big bottle of red wine. That's a great night out. Yeah, and by the for, for the record, there should never be an apostrophe S after a TH. Ruth's uh, yeah, Chris right. Steakhouse. They should just call it Lispy's Steakhouse. That's a tester right All there. All right, let's go on to their final one. Now, in <laughs> Rhode Island, Rhode Island is full of quirky restaurants with quirky names, yeah. and this might be the wackiest of all. Iggy's Doughboy. That's the name of the restaurant. They got two locations, Warwick and Narragansett. Tell me about Iggy's Doughboys. Well, there was no Iggy. <laughs> there was just an Italian license plate that had an I and a G and a six. <laughs> But they do the dough boys, which is like a cross between a donut and fried dough right out of the fryer later. They're coated in sugar and served in a bag with sugar inside, so you shake it up to get that perfect covering. They do uh, classics like lobster rolls and clam cakes and stuffies. The best item here, though, is the famous Iggy Burger. Mm. It's a grilled burger served on a fluffy bun topped with melted cheese, sweet onions, and a thick slab of sauteed green pepper for under four bucks, Dan. That is serious bang for your dining buck. Excellent work. Those are good restaurants with bad names from the first name in restaurant analysis, <laughs> Dave Andelman. <laughs>